Mastery in Spirit, Mastery in Life, Eklavya International School, Pondicherry. A warm welcome to all of you watching this video. I am Yashini from Eklavya International School. I hereby present my project about Mahavir and Aragumuthu. The name is not familiar, right? Yes, he is one of our unsung heroes from the history of Indian independence. Join with me knowing more details about this great freedom fighter. Mahaviran Aragamuthukon was born in 1710 in Katalan Kulam near Kovilpati, Tutikoran district in the state of Tamil Nadu. Mahaviran is a title given to the people who are really brave and patriotic. His father's name was also Aragamuthu and his mother was Pakya Tamal. He was born in a Konar Yadava family. Konar is the ethnic group from the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. They were traditionally held to be a pastoral community who were involved in cattle cultivation. He was also known as Aragamuthu Konar and Serve Karad. Serve Karad means head or service provider to the public. He is well known for having raised one of the first revolts against the British in India. The domination of British in the territories which now comprise the state of Tamil Nadu began in the 1750s. The British defeated the Nawab of Arcot. Then, they started collecting the tax directly from the people of Tirunelveli. After some time, they had appointed Khan Sahib as a commander of Tirunelveli. This Khan Sahib was authorized by the British to collect the tax from the people of Tirunelveli. He was also authorized to collect tax from the people of Madurai. Following this, a communication in this regard was also sent to Yattayapuram. The king of Yattayapuram, Yattapanayakar 29, along with Aragamuthukun, condemned this act severely and refused to pay tax to the British. Here comes a video to demonstrate the braveness of our freedom fighters defending to pay tax to British. Vanam Poligradu, Bumi Velagradu, Munaki and Kodapa the Kisti, Yangalo Vayak Vandaya, Yatam Raitaya, Nirbachi Nadavayam Maraya Kandaya, Natunataya, Kalibaritaya, Kalanival, whatever the Kandi Kalayam Mandaya, and the Kundibayar and Yamgula Pangal Kumanjala right to Panipurindaya, and Ladini Mamana Machana, Manangatavani, Yanaki Kerkrai, Yarak Kerkrai, Vari. For a little Nakovic, Marinat, whatever put them, Pangia in Vladakim, for a little Talitari, Nakadrai, Kuvitum Jakradai. However, Bhutalapuram Yetaya, one of the cousins of Yetapanaikar 29, offered to pay the tax and serve under the control of British if Khan Sahib helped him to conquer Yetapuram. So, Khan Sahib attacked and captured Yetapuram and announced Bhutalapuram Yetaya as the king of Yattapuram. Mangviran Aragamuthukon somehow managed to save Yattapanayakar 29's life and kept him safely in the province of Perunalli. Bhutalapuram Yattaya had a lavish lifestyle and was unable to pay the tax to British. Consequently, he was imprisoned and Kurumale Ture, the brother of Yattapanayakar 29, who paid the tax was declared the new king of Yattapuram. Yetapanaikar 29 died heartbroken at his brother's conspiracy. Thereafter, Mahaviran Aragamuthukon crowned Venkateshwara Yetapur 30 as his successor in Perunalli. Aragamuthukon then collected an army to defeat the conquerors of Yetapuram. Many brave men from Maoli and Bethanayakanu joined his army. He trained them and segregated them into two groups, one under his leadership and the other under Venkateshwara Yattapur. 
சிவசங்கரம் பிள்ளை காட் அ நோ ஆஃப் அழகுமுத்து கோன்ஸ் மூவ்ஸ் அண்ட் வான் கான் சாஹிப் த டேஞ்சர் கான் சாஹிப்ஸ் மென் சரவுண்டட் த ஆர்மி ஆஃப் அழகுமுத்து கோன் அட் மிட் நைட் டியூரிங் தியர் ஸ்டே அட் பேத்தநாயக்கனூர் along with 255 soldiers mahavir arugumuthu kon was captured by the british and taken captive arugumuthu kon along with others was tied to the mouth of the cannon and shot to death on july 1759 mahavir arugumuthu kon is one of the first freedom fighters in the 17th century from tamil nadu After a great struggle we got our independence on 15th August 1947 After independence this brave leader has been still remembered and honored in many ways I like to show you guys the way we remember him as well The 11th of July is celebrated to honor the great Mahavir Aragamuthu Kon as a mark of respect for the supreme sacrifice Indian Department of Post was pleased to share a commemorative postage stamp on Mahavir Aragamuthu Kon on 26 December 2015 depicting him as a brave warrior with a drawn sword in hand. Former Union Finance Minister P Chidambaram had released a documentary film on Mahavir Aragamuthu Kon on 24 December 2012 in Madurai. The struggle by fighters like him cascaded to the Indian independence movement later and their contribution to the freedom struggle is phenomenal he said Let's see a video about the importance of Bamsamani Deepikai book written by Same Pillai on Arugumuthu Kon Noolgalum naadagangalum vidudalai porinai makkalin talathirkku eduthu chendrana adai pole இவ்விரு ஊடகங்களும் அழகுமுத்து கோன் வீர வரலாற்றை மக்களின் உள்ளத்தில் விதைத்தன ஒரு புத்தகம் மட்டும் கிடைக்காம போயிருந்தால் அழகுமுத்து பற்றிய அறிவு நமக்கு கிடைச்சிருக்காது சாமி தீட்சிதர் என்ற எட்டைபுரத்து அரண்மனை புலவர் ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி எழுபத்தி எட்டில் எழுதிய வம்சமணி தீபிகை என்ற ஒரு நூல் தமிழ் நூல் தான் On 3rd May 1996 a large bronze statue of Veeran Aragumuthu Kon was erected by the government of Tamil Nadu near Chennai Egmo railway station on the same day the government named a transport corporation with headquarters at Pudukottai and government buses were operated with the name Veeran Aragumuthu Transport Corporation in his memory the government of Tamil Nadu conducts a puja ceremony every year on 11 July here is a news clipping shown சுதந்திர போராட்ட வீரர் அழகுமுத்துகோனின் முன்னூற்றி ஏழாவது பிறந்த தினம் இன்று கொண்டாடப்படுகிறது அழகுமுத்துகோனின் பிறந்த தினத்தை முன்னிட்டு சென்னை எழும்பூரில் உள்ள அவரது சிலைக்கு தமிழக அமைச்சர்கள் ஜெயக்குமார் திண்டுக்கல் சீனிவாசன் ஆகியோர் மாலை அணிவித்து மரியாதை செலுத்தினர் இதேபோல முன்னாள் முதலமைச்சர் பன்னீர்செல்வம் தமிழக காங்கிரஸ் தலைவர் திருநாவுக்கரசர் உள்ளிட்டோர் சென்னை எழும்பூரில் உள்ள அழகுமுத்துகோனின் சிலைக்கு மாலை அணிவித்து மரியாதை செலுத்தினர் சுதந்திர போராட்ட வீரர் அழகுமுத்துகோனின் முன்னூற்றி ஏழாவது பிறந்த நாளை ஒட்டி பாளையங்கோட்டையில் உள்ள அவரது சிலைக்கு மரியாதை செலுத்தப்பட்டது அதிமுக திமுக உள்ளிட்ட கட்சிகளின் நிர்வாகிகள் மற்றும் முக்கிய பிரமுகர்கள் சிலைக்கு மாலை அணிவித்து மரியாதை செலுத்தினர் At his ancestor house at Kataalan Kulam we can see some of the freedom fighters possessions which include a sword spear decorated umbrella and lamp His statue placed in his house is also honored by his family members and the public Our independence is not an overnight freedom there were many great leaders and brave warriors who lost their life for the freedom we enjoy now Our generation must be sensible and realize the responsibility we all hold as Indians towards the development of our country. பிரிக்க நினைக்கும் சூழ்ச்சிகளையும் பரிக்க நினைக்கும் உரிமைகளையும் முறியடிக்க எழுப்பும் உறுதிலும் குரலிலும் 
உயிரிலும் கிளந்துள்ளார் அழித்தொழிப்பு என்பது ஆதிக்க சக்திகளின் தற்காலிக வெற்றிதான் நிரந்தரம் என்பது சரித்திரம்தான் அழகு முத்து நிரந்தரமானவர் சரித்திரமான fly because the wind moves it it flies with the last breath of each soldier who dead protecting it my india my god jai hind